New York City, known for its vibrant skylines and tourism, has seen its fair share of celebrity-owned restaurants that came and went over the years. While some left a lasting impression, others quickly faded into the city's food history. Today, let's take a stroll down memory lane as we remember a few defunct celebrity-owned restaurants that once graced New York City's dining landscape. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Nyla Grammy award-winning singer Britney Spears has had plenty of successful business ventures over the years, but only a few of her fans knew she once operated a restaurant. Shortly before her Dream Within a Dream tour wrapped up in July of 2002, to support her then-self-titled third studio album, Britney, Nyla was open in the Dillon Hotel in Midtown Manhattan. Originally, the restaurant was due to be named Pinky, a name given to her by then-boyfriend Justin Timberlake. Now, can we all guess what she called him? Well, she called Justin Stinky. After a few discussions, Britney changed the name to Nyla a name derived by combining the postal abbreviations for New York and Britney's home state of Louisiana. The managing company, however, was still called Pinky Enterprises. The restaurant was a partnership opening alongside Bobby Oaks, who had previously worked with other celebrity restaurants openings. The day-to-day -day operation was to be run solely by Bobby, with Britney having creative input. While the restaurant originally served Cajun cuisine since it opened, it gradually changed to feature regional American food with an Italian flair in hopes of increasing business. The restaurant was reportedly doomed from the start, with it being $350,000 over budget on opening day, bringing in only $1,900 in business. Chef Brad Gates also complained that no one was coming into the restaurant and that it was hard to buy food because management wasn't giving him any money to do so. In October 2002, three vendors filed an involuntary petition of bankruptcy in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court against Pinky Enterprises LLC, which ran Nyla, alleging they had not been paid more than $25,000 that they were owed. Britney would later part ways with the restaurant, with her team stating that Britney Spears has severed all involvement with the Manhattan restaurant Nyla and the company which operates Nyla. Spears believes that she has been left no alternative other than to terminate her relationship with Nyla because management failed to keep her fully apprised of information relating to the restaurant and its operations. The restaurant would close in the same year it opened, following Britney Spears' public split from Justin Timberlake. Alea Luann Society 5 Sibling actors Stephen and William Baldwin opened a Mediterranean restaurant called Alea in 1999. The restaurant was named after Stephen's daughter. The restaurant failed to succeed, and with new management, a chef, and just Stephen Baldwin? A new concept, a sea-themed lounge called Luann, opened in the same spot in the early 2000s. The name Luann was named after a fishing boat then-chef Tim Egan once worked on, and on the menu featured crisp crab cakes, excellent fresh grilled fish, and a rich seafood stew. After this attempt failed, it was rebranded a third and final time, being renamed Society 5 before closing for good shortly after the change. One thing we can say is that not many celebrity restaurants can claim to have changed names three times in a couple of years. Justin's Diddy makes another video, as he was previously featured on the Failed Celebrity Restaurants of Atlanta. For those who haven't gotten a chance to see it, Bad Boy Records founder Sean Puffy Combs, who we all know as Diddy, opened a restaurant called Justin's in New York City. The restaurant was named after his oldest son, Justin Combs, opening in 1997, with a second location opening a year later in Atlanta, Georgia. The restaurant offered creative soul food dishes, such as barbecue salmon, blackened catfish, cabbage, yams, and more. Many people praised the restaurant for its atmosphere and reasonable prices. The New York location would later close in 2007. After 10 years in business due to a need for a larger restaurant in the NYC area, but a new location never opened. The Atlanta locations would close just five years later in 2012. Dougie's Fresh Chicken and Waffles 
Rapper Douglas Davis, known professionally as Dougie Fresh, became famous for his talents as a human beatbox in the rap world. <laughs> took his skills further when he purchased a storefront at the corner of 132nd Street and Adam Clayton Powell Boulevard in 2007 for a planned restaurant. After three years of delays and construction, mainly in part due to his financial woes in 2008, Dougie's Fresh Chicken and Waffles restaurant opened its doors in November 2010. As the restaurant name states, it was known for pairing its fried chicken with waffles, which gained popularity as being an indulgent dish. It also offered southern food options, such as candy yams, collard greens, mac and cheese, and seafood options. According to Yelp reviews, many people praised the price, portions, and quality of the food, with the service only being the negative thing about the establishment. Sources say the restaurant closed sometime in 2015 after being closed for renovations. Ryu Scott Disick won over the world with his run on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, alongside his then-girlfriend, Kourtney Kardashian. Have you ever come across somebody more difficult than yourself? Uh, you're up there. After floating the idea of opening a restaurant with his partner, Jesse Kamak, Scott opened Ryu in April 2012. New York Post food critic Steve Kuozzo wrote that Ryu had little to offer, from his tippet scene and awful soundtrack, to his unimaginative menu, while Yelp reviewers complained of the prices and the portion sizes. Six months after the post, Disick sold his shares in the restaurant. In a statement shared with the outlet, his representative clarified that Scott sold his shares a while ago and suggested his decision had nothing to do with the negative press surrounding the restaurant. After his exit, Ryu continued to suffer from low sales before being shut down due to Hurricane Sandy, a hugely destructive storm that swept from the Caribbean up to the East Coast. After the hurricane ended, Ryu remained closed while Scott Disick explored other business endeavors. Teeny Cafe Richard Melville Hall, known professionally as Moby, is an American musician, songwriter, singer, producer, and animal rights activist. Moby and his then ex-girlfriend Kelly Tisdale opened Teeny Cafe in 2002, located in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, New York. The cafe was known for its assortment of teas, vegan options, and its decor that was designed by Moby himself. It also featured a raw food specialty by vegan celebrity chef Elia Joy. In January 2006, Teeny was refocused as more of a traditional tea house and offered less food. Kelly also took a larger role on the business side of Teeny, with Moby taking a smaller one. In June 2009, a fire caused minimum damage to the tea house, and according to Moby's online journal, it was Kelly's decision whether the cafe was going to be rebuilt or not. The tea house reopened in May 2010, briefly rebranded as Teeny Simo later reverting to the original name. Teeny was sadly shuttered for good in December 2015. Angels and Kings Angels and Kings was a nightclub opened in April 2007 by bassist Pete Wenz and his fellow Fallout Boy members, Jameson Ernest of Yellow Fever, and other members in the industry. Opening in the space that formerly housed the Orchid Lounge, the grand opening featured Wins with his then-girlfriend and former wife, Ashley Simpson, and Tommy Hilfiger, among others. Wins has stated that he opened the bar for his friends and him to have a place to hang out. A second location opened in Chicago in 2008, along with a third and fourth location in Barcelona and Hollywood. The one-room bar in New York featured frame mug shots of Johnny Cash, Jimi Hendrix, Sid Vicious, Lil' Kim, and Frank Sinatra. Also mounted on the wall was a jukebox, and the bar also hosted acoustic shows for entertainment. On May 22, 2009, Angels and Kings in New York was shut down by police after it received its third citation within a year of serving alcohol to minors. The New York location would close permanently in April 2012, while the remaining locations in Barcelona, Chicago, and Hollywood all closed by 2015. Southern Hospitality 
Southern Hospitality opened in 2007 with well-known pop star actor Justin Timberlake being one of the celebrity owners. The restaurant opened in New York City's Hell's Kitchen District, Manhattan, New York. He partnered with best friend Trace Ayala and businessman Eaton Sugarman to open the Memphis-style barbecue spot that featured Southern specialities. This restaurant aimed to provide a relaxed and friendly atmosphere reminiscent of Southern hospitality. Justin Timberlake began distancing seen himself from the restaurant in 2009 when he issued a statement declaring he was no longer involved as a co-owner. Timberlake was still known to frequent the restaurant and not tipping servers. According to multiple sources, he also retweeted many of the posts the restaurant chain made on its official Twitter page. In 2011, One Republic lead singer Ryan Tedder and his father bought the rights to open up to 300 franchise locations, starting with a location in Denver, Colorado. However, only three opened up and all locations were shuttered by 2017. The original location in New York would close abruptly in 2019, with a spokesperson stating that it would transition into a new concept. As of 2022, the locations appear to be vacant after numerous businesses have come and gone. Fatbird American professional chef and television personality Kat Cora opened a southern-themed 150-seat restaurant, Fatbird, at 44 Ninth Avenue in New York on June 19, 2017. The menu featured hot chicken, baby back ribs, and jello shots with cheesy names like Not Your Mama's Jello Shot, Food critic Robert C. Sema found the restaurant to be in disarray upon his visit, with servers bringing incorrect orders and poor food quality. In October of that same year, Kat Cora sued her partner for a $400,000 fee. She says she was never paid for the use of her name, likeness, and recipes. She also blamed her business partners for the restaurant's lackluster performance, running it poorly and serving items she had not approved. On December 28, 2017, the restaurant shuttered after only being in operation for seven months. Fashion Cafe Francesco and Tommaso Butti founded Fashion Cafe in 1995, being fronted by supermodels Naomi Campbell, Elle McPherson, Claudia Schiffer, and Christy Turlington. According to the Associated Press, it was called a couture version of Planet Hollywood and the Hard Rock Cafe. Its entryway was shaped like a giant camera shutter, and the dining room had display case after display case of fashion memorabilia, like Madonna Jean-Paul Gaultier con bra. But apart from these features, it looked like any other diner. Its menu was seven pages long and simply slapped supermodels' names on otherwise ordinary burgers, waffle fries, pizzas, salads, and steaks. The Fashion Cafe also had an exclusive side for celebrities as a venue for over-the-top and food-free parties attended by guests like Prince. While the first original restaurant operated in Rockefeller, New York City, a second location opened in London just a year later. In total, the Fashion Cafe operated seven locations after opening one in Indonesia, Mexico, the Philippines, and Spain. Behind the scenes, the owners, Francesco and Tommaso, were struggling with the lawsuits about copyrights and trademarks on the restaurant's name. They also weren't paying taxes, rent, utility fees, or premiums on unemployment insurance, and the government had noticed. Meanwhile, Tommaso was making headlines after spending $20,000 on his birthday party and renting out various properties totaling $25,000 per month. The original fashion cafe would close in 1999, while the brothers were arrested and indicted on 51 federal counts, including fraud, money laundering, and conspiracy. By 2021, Tommaso Buti was granted a full pardon by, yes, you guessed it, former President Donald Trump. Well, this brings us to the end of our list today. Let me know in the comments below if you know of any other celebrity-owned restaurants that have failed or if you recognized any of the ones we went over in the video. See you next time!